Gucci. Oh, Uncle Michael found the gold. It's in that box, Uncle Mike. It looks like we have an assortment of Rafferty purses. Now that is well worth it. Bounty Hunter metal detectors. I don't even want to open it. The mold. Oh, no. no. They left everything they didn't want. They left... Their parents? Oh, my gosh. 6.15 in the morning. We drove 50 minutes to get here. All we have to do is pick up one tiny load and get it back to the storage so we can go pick up multiple loads. Jay, there's a mess. We got a lock. Shout out to my new lock. Okay, and we have, do we have lights? I'm scared of the dark too, Uncle Mike. All right, so this is what we got left. We'll keep you posted as the day goes. We're gonna be doing more units. Just wanna give you a quick update. We are finishing up this uh, half million dollars in merchandise. These right here are doing 80 bucks a piece on eBay, believe it or not. I want you guys to take, take note that Uncle Michael is going right away for all the light boxes. And his response is gonna be, it's all gotta get done. Two boxes, oh, he's going two boxes. As you guys can see, I'm lapping him. What that means is for every one trip he makes in the trailer, I make two. So you could even see a real time look. See how I passed him up and I passed him up and I'm coming back here to pass him up. I'm also stacking him and he just comes in and gets them. Uncle Michael's got it made. This is how he looks like the hardest working man in America. It's all my, I'm like a director basically and I make him look like a hard worker. He's quite quiet today, huh? That's the wrap. B35, Newark. Oli, entire Merchus inventory. Second trip. I'm on fire today, guys. I work so hard, Uncle Michael's speechless. Reasons I love my new trailer take 704,692 million. We were in my 16 foot trailer. We would have had to load that to the roof, right? We would have had to double stack, double touch, exhaust yourself, wear your shoulders out, everything. It is, uh, we've been here for a little over 15 minutes and we got the dolly float all those in. That is priceless and that's what makes that trailer, this trailer, a major investment is the fact that we could just dolly them in one stack, still have room, no extra work. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, Pirates of all ages, it's pirate time. We are here in this beautiful storage unit. I don't know why I'm saying it's beautiful, but I think it is. We bought this for one and one specific reason only. When we open it, you're gonna see there's a lot of cute stuff and the little woman wanted it and we bought it. I think we paid 260, 10 by 15 or 20. Let's get started. Let's see what's in there. Okay, any rats? No, lots of bags. Look at that skull right there. And there's a Harley Davidson, a hook and stuff. We're gonna get right to it, guys. We're gonna load this up and we're gonna see what's in here. Canopy looks pretty nice, actually. It's a, oh, wow, 10 by 10. It's actually in pretty good shape. Pretty I think canopy. we did good for 260. First things first, are we keeping any of these? Let it snow. It's in good shape. The hands almost move. All right, we'll set that aside because we might like that. That's kind of cool. It's a fireplace grate. It needs the other pieces. Crystal clear studio. Ooh, look at this. Here's Uncle Michael's childhood toys right here. You know you had these, Uncle Michael. What year does it say? I can't tell. My name is Ernie. These are brand new and these need to go on eBay. They both have the tag on them, so we'll set those aside. And Ernie has a tag too, see? Nice, these are definitely eBay items. Mahala Felice. She looks like a Mahala. We got a 1985 here and it's got a poster. The box is a little compromised circus kids, but I have a feeling that's a good item and that will go in our eBay pile. We have three eBay items and we're only uh, six inches into the unit. So we have a $10, nah, yeah, maybe 15, 10 or $15 ice chest. And we have another one, a little dirty, but they're ice chests. What I like about it is it's Mattel. Peter, oh, 
It's the second day in a row we have found a Peter Pan item reminding us that we need to live our fairy tale mentality. Let's see what this is Peter Pan, so it's a little bit older. This is the infamous wire bucket. That is a nice cauldron, whatever it is. You definitely could use it for Halloween. Ew. Maybe it's just mango madness. This would actually make a really wicked uh, cauldron in the, and it's got marshmallows in it. Let's see what it says here. K Cole 1975. It's a little light. It would, but it's nice though. We could put it next to the dog cage. Um, I will put this in a, in a purse lock. The strap doesn't look like it though. It's old. Gucci. It has that vintage Gucci, but I also think it's kind of not. We're getting all sorts of troll dolls right off the bat. That's for, for the lights. We do? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give this to you, Uncle Michael, because your performance shows it. You should go far, and I hope soon. I'll start my diet tomorrow. I'm giving that to Storage Stalker. If you're so smart, why ain't you rich? I need that. And this one is for me, boss. All right, I think we'll put these buttons aside for uh, pizza makes me passionate. Pizza, let's get some pizza. Actually, I'm thinking we'll put this whole little, one little thing right here aside. Oh, Uncle Michael found the gold. It's in that box, Uncle Mike. Come on, you could do it. Mm -mm. Christmas tree stand. Is that the gold down there? Rug. No, oh, I thought you found. I thought you hit it, Uncle Michael. Oh yeah, it's like uh, some type of South American piece. It's Charizard. Let's put it in here safely. That is definitely it is yucky a little bit, but it's more like dirty from stuff that dropped on it, not just the faded. But it's still cool. We already have a big Dooney and Burke lot. Don't know why I didn't see this first first thing when I glanced up there. Ooh. I know, and there's another one. This one is a SS regulation. No. Elkhart, Indiana. It's actually kind of neat. It's missing the pieces there, but I don't think this one works either. Oh, they're right here. Nope, doesn't work. But that is still a nice piece. Probably needs a little cleaning. Bulbhead.com. Okay, there's the, uh, something for Christmas decoration. Is it rusty? It's metal. It's so. Two piece list. No, I'm not really feeling these crystal penguins. We have a brand new light up Christmas tree. That's got to be worth at least 10. I don't know if I like that. I feel like that's gonna push into the plastic with the next load. No? I would, get, I would just call that done. So it hits on there and it wouldn't boat up anymore. Okay. We got an oil painting here. It's not bad though. Yeah. Nothing good in there. It's kind of a newer one, but I'm digging it. It's kind of got. A little lake scene, a river scene, a drawbridge here, looks like. Laptop protector. The three wise men. That was actually $45 at one time. Some oil. Some jars with people's names to be put on them. And we have a Moen. Brand new looking closet. Personal paperwork. Joy. Rose Melange. That is kind of neat. Lot of Do Not Silent Night. Okay, so it's a lot of dishes in there. It looks like we have an assortment of Rafferty purses. This one is a wannabe Versace. 
these have all been road hard and put away wet, but that uh, happens sometimes in storage units. You know, nothing you could do about it, really. That one's kind of cool. It still has life in it. Liz Claiborne. This one has that Fortini fiber look and stuff, but it's not. Come on, be a hidden treasure. And coin. I'm inclined to say that this is just some cheap purses and they're not in the bestest of shape. But they're still sellable. And a sewing machine. That's something we haven't found enough of lately. Um, Dur oh, these might be good. Duracell Solar LED Pathways 10 oh, Lumens. Nice. I like them when they're, and they're LED. Maybe keep these? Yeah, but you need to make sure it's brand new first though and like open it up. Sure. You just open it up and see what it's like. And we got some yard lights. Nice. It's always nice to lighten up your life. Nothing that you don't want to look through it? Like it's gold or something? It's not exciting to you? It doesn't look exciting. I thought it was Christmas. Mm. Maybe take that out and fill it up with stuff. Look at 63 gold. He's still in. Well, I put some boxes together too. You can use. Sure that and then we have a Radio Shack metal detector. That's kind of cool. That might have some value just because it's old and Radio Shack. That looks like a backpack tent and it's different than the one we had. And then this is what a bunch of Christmas on it. Doing a great job. Look, I used to have the same box. Oh, wow. Batman. Batgirl on a keychain. That actually might be some money. Lego. I would look that up. Was it a was that a, a Amazon Lego? No. Some cool Legos there. I will set those aside. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this flower kid. It looks like a cabbage patch, but it's not quite a cabbage patch. I'll have to look that up. 1983. Then what do we have here? Please be something cool. Yes, they are in here. Right on. We definitely have. Uh, some type of metal detector. Sure, that's what these are. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter 2. All right. And then it comes with headphones. And yeah. That's a waste of a box. We have a whole shelf in there to fill up, too. That one was, yeah. And this one as well oh it's even got this cool little stainless steel for digging definitely gonna use these because i've been wanting to make metal detecting videos so now we have two and we might have a chance at a third one in another unit still that is well worth a bounty hunter metal detectors i don't know the value on them but hey what are they oh wow let me see this there are people you see, once again, this is what I'm talking about. Everybody gets mad at us savages for going through these storage units. And you look, they left everything they didn't want. And they left... their parents? Oh my gosh. Shout out to you guys. I hope somebody comes and claims you. If not... Trumpets again. I guess that's like a thing. I don't know. There's all sorts of them. Probably set those aside for Alameda. Joy, hope, peace, believe. That's everything right there. That is one of the most priceless signs I've found in a while. Sadly, the Harley Davidson doesn't have the controller in it. So that brings down, if this was sealed and in the box, I would imagine that would have been a hundred bucks, but it's still cool. Somebody's gonna want it. I think it's made of aluminum or something. You can't even feel it. Oh, this is named after you, Uncle Michael Defiant. That's a nice flashlight, actually. I think I should bring that to the auction, huh? Yeah, because I had one the other day. I couldn't even, couldn't even, I didn't even have a, a flashlight. We're finding a lot of just sellable things in here. There's nothing like ex just extravagant to write home about. But like, here's an example. We've got one, two, three, four seat cushions for chairs for outdoors. That's 10 bucks. And you got a bunch more there. That's like another $10 bag. <laughs> Pat Hewitt, you need something like this for your house? They just cover your stuff? No? That was an almost cool box. Alright, there's old computer stuff. Dive inside, packed with flavor. Let's get... Is that really what those are, Mike? Is, uh, Mike? Oh. No, they were uh, like a cover for a patio chair. Oh, 
All them boxes there. These are lights. Is that a pole lamp? Yes, it is. Think they're worth eBaying? Okay. Uncle Michael says no. Why not? Uncle Michael says no. And we have plenty of other things. Walmart. Four matching lights for Sherry. All right. Not bad though. Those are cool little wall sconces. Careful, that's about to fall. Literally a thing up there. Proline Premium, like fishing waders. Those are almost kind of cool. Almost want to save those for if we go somewhere. Like the, the water. Patio Chase Lounger, quilts. We've got a really interesting array of stuff. I feel like it's a person who went shopping, they bought extra things for the family, and then it just sat in a storage unit. Nobody liked it, and then they finally walked away and left them in the storage with the stuff. That's basically how I view this. Let's see if this is in here. This could be... If this is in here, this is a good one because it's a uh, radio shack. I don't even want to open it. The mold... Oh, no. No, no. The infamous ball jar. The shelves, I'm 100% going to keep. I'm keeping any of these that are nice. They're going to end up in the warehouse one day soon. Um, and they're clean, so... We will take these to the market full, sell what's on them, and then we will... They didn't do a good job of pushing them together, though. Kind of cool. I like this one, though. I think I'm going to set this aside for the outside. That's a kind of a cool one. I like that it probably has... Yep, eyes. the eyes will glow because of the inside light. And I like it. Yes, because we should keep all keys. Okay. Keys. Okay, we're here in 60 days. Key, rubber band. Okay. I was hoping that was going to be something a little cool, but it was literally keys. All right quick recap of all the things that we have found in this unit that are cool and that we're going to either make money on or keep we've been needing tents uh camping here soon with the family so we got a nice tent here that will be cool for the kids as a five person these right here are priceless we're going to find a million dollars in gold with these two of them they're pretty much brand new they're called bounty hunter metal detectors this bad boy right here will pretty much almost pay for the unit. I comp this at at least, uh, well, the beauty of this is it's sealed. 269 or 239 was top sale. Ours is sealed. So I think this might pay for the unit. And definitely add this to the equation, these vintage Sesame Street dolls. Those will add some value to the possible paying of the unit. The skull, the Duracell yard lights, those will be cool because we're going to keep those and use them at the house. We got Uncle Michael's Childhood Cabbage Patch Doll, brand new in the box, so that's got to be priceless. Uncle Michael, there's a spider on you. No? No? All right. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. The only thing he's scared of is me. I hope you're watching this, Uncle Michael. Unsure if I'll take these to Alameda or not. They're a little dinged up, but whatever. They're cool. They're definitely worth 20, 30 bucks, probably in any market, but will they have other value than that? I'm uncertain. They're a little dinged up. Some more personal Halloween. Let's treat that with care. And the Childhood Radio Shack Metal Detector. There's definitely over what we paid for the unit and profit right here just in the trunk alone. That's a wrap on that one. On to the next. On to the next. Not bad. I took them about right there. 